Hi, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Chismar, and I teach second grade up at Heights Terrace Elementary. And today, we are going to be talking about story sequence. What is sequence? Well, sequence is the order of events in a story. And there are transition words within the story that help you through the sequence. First, in the beginning, to begin. Next, soon after, now, then, later, after that, last, in the end, finally. Authors and writers tell their story in order to show how it happens. That's why we have sequence. You start with the beginning, go to the middle, and to the end. We are going to look at sequence in one of my favorite stories, Pancake Pancake by Eric Carle. It will start in just a moment. There we go. Pancake Pancake by Eric Carl. Kiki Ra crowed the rooster. Jack woke up. Woke up, sorry. Looked out the window and thought, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. Jack's mother was already up and busy. Mother, Jack said, I'd like a pancake for breakfast. I am busy and you will have to help me, she said. How can I help? You will have to get the flour. Take a sickle and cut down as much wheat as a donkey can carry. And then take it to the mill. The miller will grind it into flour. When Jack had cut enough wheat, he put it on the donkey's back and took it to the miller. Can you grind this wheat for me, he asked. I need a big pancake. First, we must se separate the grain from the chaff, said the miller. He gave Jack a flail and spread the wheat onto the ground. The miller took another flail and began to beat the wheat with it. Jack helped with the thrashing. And it, there was soon a big pile of straw and chaff and a small pile of grain. The miller poured the grain on a large flat stone. On top of it was a round millstone connected to the water wheel on the outside. The wheel turned round and round, turning the millstone round and round too to grind the grain into flour. At last, the miller handed Jack a bag of flour. Here's the flour, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, now we need an egg. Jack went to the black hen and fed her some grain that had slipped into his pocket while he had been thrashing. Cluck, cluck, said the black hen and went inside the hen house. Then she said, cluck, cluck, once more and laid an egg. Here's an egg, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, now we need some milk. Jack went to the spotted cow and began to milk her. Moo, moo, said the spotted cow as the milk squirted into the pail. Here's the milk, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need some butter. Jack got the butter churn and held it between his knees. His mother scooped the cream from the top of the milk and put it into the butter churn. Jack pushed the churn handle up and down, up and down. Finally, the cream turned into butter. Here's the butter, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need to build a fire. Jack went to the woodshed and brought some firewood. Here's the firewood, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, wouldn't you like something sweet on your pancake? So Jack went down to the cool cellar 
and pulled a jar of strawberry jam from the shelves. Here's the strawberry jam, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. In the kitchen, Jack's mother had filled the table with the flour, the egg, the milk, the butter. There was also a mixing bowl, a cup, and a wooden spoon, a ladle, a fry pan, a plate, a knife, fork, and spoon, and a jar of jam. His mother said, put a cup full of flour into the bowl. Break an egg into the flour and stir. Pour a cup full of milk over the flour and the egg and stir again until the batter is smooth and without lumps. Jack's mother heated the frying pan over the fire and added a piece of butter. The butter melted fast. Then she asked Jack, now pour a ladle full of the batter into the hot pan. After a minute or two, she looked at the underside of the pancake. It was golden brown. Now watch, I'll turn the pancake. Ready? Ready, shouted Jack. Flip, said his mother. Up and over went the pancake, high into the air, and landed in the pan. In another minute or two, the pancake was crisp on the underside as well. Then she slipped the pan, I'm sorry, then she slipped the pancake from the frying pan onto the plate and spread some strawberries jam on it. And now Jack, his mother started to say, but Jack said, oh mama, I know what to do now. And Jack ate the pancake. The end. Okay, boys and girls, that was a good story, wasn't it? So now we're going to sequence the events from the story Pancake Pancakes. Remember, they go in order from the beginning to the middle to the end. In the beginning, Jack wanted to have a pancake for breakfast. So what happens next? First, his mom told him how to make a pancake by telling him what ingredients he needed. Then they mixed them all together. Then they cooked and flipped the pancake on a pan. Finally, Jack was able to eat his pancake with the strawberry jam on the top. Okay, so now I thought what better way than sequencing than to follow a recipe and we're going to make pancakes. What This is a pancake recipe for one. It makes two pancakes. The first thing you will need is some flour. One third cup flour, one teaspoon of sugar, one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, Quarter cup of milk, one egg, and vanilla extract. Remember, if you're doing this, you should have an adult with you. How do we make a pancake? You start by mixing your dry ingredients together. I have the sugar, the baking powder, and the salt, and I put them in the bowl. There we go. Then we're going to add an egg. Here we go. We add the egg, the milk, here's the milk, and we're gonna add it. We're gonna add the milk to that, good. We have the egg in it, uh, some vanilla. I like to add my vanilla. That's optional, but that's my secret ingredient. Now, we stir with the spoon until it's nice and smooth. There we go, we drop a quarter cup onto a skillet 
and make sure again that you have an adult with you. We put it in the fry pan and let's see if we can do this. We flip it and we cook it through. So, whoops. After that, finally, we can eat our pancake and it is delicious. Excuse me, didn't want to talk with my mouth full. So here we have another paper that you can do along with me. Using these boxes, pick the events to complete the sentence starters. Remember, you want your events to be in order that they happen in the story. So first, what happened first? Let me get my pen here. Good. First, what happens? Jack wants a big pancake for breakfast. I'm just going to put numbers there. You can write them in later. So this one was first. What's second? Over here, Jack gets an egg from the black hen. What happens third? Let's look at these. Jack churns the butter. Jack eats the pancake with some strawberries on it. Jack milks the spotted cow. It's up here. We're looking for the third one. You're right. Jack milks the spotted cow. Excellent. Last, which one up there would be last out of four? We're looking for the fourth one. You're right. Jack churns the cream into butter. Now, if you want it to keep going, which one would be fifth? Excellent. Jack and his mom mix everything together. You're really doing a great job today, boys and girls. And last, after he does all this, what is the last thing that happens? Correct. Jack eats the pancake with some strawberry jam on the top. Great job. Now, if you want to find out more about Eric Carl, you can go to this website. It's Eric Carl's website, and there's a lot of nice things on this website. Have fun this week doing your work, and remember, we all miss you very much.